Okay, so we're going to do another holder, live holder. We're going to import a file. <clears throat> another ED EWS solid model from their website. So here we can see that the UVW is already positioned correctly with the blue going up into the turret with the red facing toward the main spindle. So I'm going to just come to copy and come to attribute move and I'm going to set my color for this unit to be gray. So now when I ungroup it it's gray and holding shift I'm going to grab one of these small edges to grab all the outside of the logo and holding control I'm going to pick the top face so it adds it to the group. So holding control will add or remove items from the group and then I'm going to go back into the color command and uh, we're gonna see that that changes it to the blue which looks pretty nice and I'm gonna add a couple more colors here just to make everything look nice I'm gonna rotate and use my control and shift again on those elements there and again come to copy and I like to use these three colors the gray here the blue for the EWS logo, I like this, and then for any uh, coolant lines, I like using this color here. So when I say OK, this is what it looks like. So that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is just rotate to this front face here, select translate since we're in the proper orientation, and move my mouse until I'm highlighting that the center of that front face. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to digitize there and then come here and put in TSA underscore one for tool spindle and hit enter. And at this point, uh, we can go ahead and save this. So I'm going to say file, save as, save it as a holder for live milling and go ahead and hit save. Okay, so we're going to open up a new file here, one that already has some programming. I just want to test to see what we just did to make sure that it works. So I'm going to go to Tool Assemblies, come here to Station 2, which should be this tool right here. It is indeed. Now this is a Doosan, uh, a Doosan Lynx, and from the file name, it looked like that was for an index G200, but I just want to see to make sure that it's working. So to test or load it inside of your uh, machine turret, all we do is on a station, um, because this one, what I'm gonna do is uh, just double click it. You can just right click and say select new adapter. Since I have one, I'm just gonna edit it. I'm gonna come here and select the new holder that we just made and say open and you see that it appears on the turret and it uh, has the the uh, collet and the tool shifted in the correct location so everything looks pretty good okay so let's uh, check out the actual machining on this one we've got the 10 millimeter with a two in parentheses. I see that tool is already being used for this operation. So we see the collet nut is spinning and it's machined properly. So we know that that tool spindle axis is defined correctly, tool is spinning, and at the end of the operation we see the collet nut stop.